your coffee, Mrs. Barney. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, that just reminds me of Deidre. Well, at least it's not associated with tracing. True. <laughs> Look. You old romantic. Hey, don't talk to me about Maybe she's upset because you brought us to your local Parisa spoon the morning after your wedding. Oh, well, there's no other guests. They're over, so Janie never had anything in. Thank you. I miss Shona. Look, talk to Bethany. She doesn't want to talk. When has that stopped you? Look, I can't lie and pretend that I'm OK with it. No, but if you're not talking to her, then you're not going to be there for her when it all falls apart. Which it will. Yeah, probably. OK, so what am I meant to do? Am I meant to sit back and just pretend that it's all OK? No, you talk to her and I'll talk to Daniel. I mean, it can't go much worse than it did with Granddad. So... Right, come on, then. Tell me what a massive mistake I'm making. I know you can't help who you fall in love with. So maybe you are meant to be together, but waiting a while isn't going to change that. OK, so say I wait a few weeks, a few months. What difference does it make? It allows him to get over his grief. And how long does that take? A few weeks, a few months? And in the meantime, you can go to London, you could settle in, you could get used to the job. And what about him? He's stuck here, a single dad with a baby, with all of you lot slagging him off because he didn't throw himself on the funeral pyre with Sinead. Darling, he is not your responsibility. Then whose is he? His family. OK, so you mean his 80-year-old dads? Or Peter and Tracy, who can't even keep their own lives in order? Or maybe your new hubby, who's more interested in screwing over Gary? Come on. Well, I love him. And he loves me. As much as he loved Sinead? Loves Sinead. That's not fair. You're right, I know it's not, but I reckon you need to think about it before you change your whole life for him. Everyone's saying how wrong it is that we're together. Well, he was over there. Do you honestly think that rushing to move away is the best thing for him? We're not rushing, though. We're not. But we're doing what's best for us day to day, and he's getting better. Look, I know that you think that he is losing it, but you don't know him like I do. He's the strongest person I know. Bethany! Did you hear that? Bethany! Daniel? Oh, hey! It was going to be romantic and climb up, but you've got nothing to climb up. Not even a trellis. Going to try this tree. Daniel, what are you doing? Daniel, uh, here you come on. Thanks. Don't know if I should have given her something stronger. Well, I wouldn't mind. A very large G and T, actually. Can you believe, Daniel? Yeah. Oh, darling, I hate to say, I told you so, but... Do you know, it's all just so sad. Why would he do that, though? Well, is it not obvious? Well, he's obviously still in love with Sinead. Yeah. Sorry, love. He's not going to get very far with her, is he? David! Leah! David. Look, look, his head's all over the place, isn't it? I mean, I know that, you know that, we all know that. So? So, run for the hills, basically. I'll get it. Mum, I don't really think now's the right time for recriminations. Well, I say it in the spirit of solidarity. Hey, oh. Sorry about this, guys. You OK, Bethany? What do you want? Look, Daniel's in a bit of a state. Yeah, so is Bethany. Will you see him? She will not. No, I will. You're asking for trouble. Uh, David, please, could you do me a favour while I do? What? Oh, yeah, no, it's really nice of them to put me up. Yes, and at such short notice. People are so kind. Oh, Gail, come on. She's about to start a really exciting new life. Yes, but it's not exactly how she planned, is it? Oh, don't be upset, Gran. Oh, don't worry, she'll be fine. Life is never how we plan it, is it, Gail? True. Oof, we're not going deep, are we, Gran? No, 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 shush now. I know things have gone kind of pear shape for our Bethany. Oh, right, we're a bit in, why don't you? Oh. And Daniel hasn't exactly been the knight in shining armour, has he? But she's turning a negative into a positive, and we need to do the same, please. Yes, and in a way, I am pleased for you, love. No. 
Uh, that's David. Oh. He's outside in the van. Really? Come on. Right. Are we ready? As I'll ever be. Can't believe this is actually happening. Well, I've got a really good feeling about this, honestly. If I don't go now, I never will. Uh, listen, keep an eye on Daniel for me. OK. He needs looking after. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Right. Let's load her up. And she doesn't love him. She can't. You be careful in that London. Is that what it's called now, that London? <laughs> oh, it's always been called that. Hey, come here, you. Oh, oh sweet. Have don't... a safe trip. Let's know how you get on, yeah? <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. <laughs> hey, up. Here comes the one that got away. <laughs> Craig, I'm really sorry that things got a bit weird between us. You know, I always work the best for you, yeah? I know. Promise you'll come and visit? Just try and stop me. <laughs> you know, I am so proud of you. Everything you've achieved. What's she achieved? Oh, Nick. Oh, only joke. Always sound like the star you are, yeah? Oh, Craig. <laughs> don't. I'm not wearing waterproof mascara. I don't want to look like a panda by the time I hit the M6. Still not too late, you know. We could come with you. Give us 15, 20 minutes to pack a bag. Look at your hand, Daniel. You're still wearing your wedding ring. I could take it off. You were going to give me hers. It is too late. It's too much, I'm sorry. Don't want you to go. He's the most important thing now. Not me. He needs you to heal. So concentrate on him. It was you that I was kissing. It wasn't her. OK. I'm going to get better. I'm going to be a good dad. I promise. <sighs> so sorry that I messed everything up. You didn't. Life did that for us. You've done nothing wrong, Daniel. Bye, Bertie. You make sure you call me every single day and you text me every half hour and if you're not updating your status, I'm gonna think there's something wrong. <laughs> not like you worry or anything. No. It feels like yesterday you were walking down the cobbles with your school bag in hand. Oh. Are you about to break into a song from Mamma Mia? <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, darling, you're not gonna need any luck. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> Come on. All right, keep your hair on. Don't forget to email. No, don't email me. I'm hopeless with technology. <laughs> You OK? Yeah. Send money to your poor northern relatives. Oh, yeah, we never say no to money. <laughs> yeah. Bye, darling. <laughs>